And hello, everybody. Right now, as we join the rest of Kentucky and, and the nation is in shock. Former President Donald Trump, the target of an assassination attempt during an early evening rally in Pennsylvania. He was injured, but is OK tonight, as you've been seeing from ABC News coverage. Thank you very much for joining us on the WHAS 1119. I'm Doug Profit. Now, our team of reporters here locally has been getting a lot of reaction tonight from Republicans and Democrats condemning the political violence. But first, we do want to bring you the very latest at this late hour, both from ABC News and the Associated Press, our sources. ABC News is now quoting a law enforcement source saying the gunman on a nearby rooftop fired as many as eight rounds with an AR style rifle. He was perched on a rooftop adjacent to the venue. The shooter was 200 to 300 yards away at the time of the gunfire. Witnesses say Donald Trump had just started speaking. The Secret Service says it killed the shooter. A person in the crowd was also killed. Two other spectators have been critically hurt. Posting on his Truth social media site about two and a half hours after the shooting, Donald Trump said a bullet, quote, pierced the upper right part of my right ear. Now we have reaction from Kentucky and Indiana leaders comments pouring in tonight. Here's what Kentucky's Mitch McConnell, the minority leader of the U.S. Senate said moments after the shooting tonight. All Americans are grateful that President Trump appears to be fine after a despicable attack on a peaceful rally. Violence has no place in our politics. We appreciate the swift work of the Secret Service under the law enforcement. WHS 1119's Jose Alonzo begins our coverage. He's been talking to key local Republican and Democratic Party leaders. My phone's been ringing off the hook, Jose. It, it, uh, people are very concerned. Initially, it was concern about, uh, of course, the president's safety. The chairman for the Jefferson County Republican Party, Don Fitzpatrick, says his constituents were watching former President Trump's rally closely. What's now deemed an assassination attempt has left the local party in shock. Our support was where it needed to be without this, but certainly there's an emotional uh, reaction when you see the person that is the nominee of your party uh, being shot at. Statements flooding in via X. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir putting out a statement saying, quote, Brittany and I are praying for the safety and health of the former president. Violence is never the answer. Never. It, it is never the answer. And... You know, I'm pleased that he came out quickly and, and made that comment. Well, I think, uh, Jose, it's important that we just reinforce that as a culture, as a country, violence is not acceptable. And we have to get to a point where there can be more open interchange about ideas. Former 3rd District U.S. Congressman from Louisville, Democrat Mike Ward, agrees. All political leaders need to make sure that they say no retaliation, no escalation. This should not be fodder for political conversation. Are you ready? On you. Ready? Move. Up. Move. Ward has personally been in many presidential barricades and praises the Secret Service for their swift action. They were working as hard as they could. They jumped right up and protected the former president. That's what they do. That's why we should always honor and praise them for that. An attempt on a political figure's life is no stranger to him, as he was working with Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg's campaign when he was shot at. Was not at the headquarters the day of his shooting, but I did pick him up that afternoon to go to the press conference. I saw how it shakes people. As this election year continues on, there's one message both party members share in common. There should be no violence toward any of our presidential candidates or frankly any candidate at any level across the country. Violence is never the answer. We need to go about our society in a democratic way because we are better than that. Now, it was very interesting hearing that from both sides of the political parties. What also caught my attention was both of their history as well. Fitzpatrick told me his grandfather was a congressman who was shot at, and at the Capitol and survived. And Ward told me about how this reminded him of when President Kennedy and Martin Luther King Jr. were also assassinated. We are hearing from others as well. Republican Senator Todd Young also responding on Twitter saying, quote, a terrifying scene at President Trump's event this afternoon praying that he and all in attendance are okay and that calm will prevail. Violence is never the answer. So we have a lot of political leaders here in Kentuckyana condemning this action. Jose, I know you found today it didn't matter which party, uh, Republican, Democrat, uh, people were eager to talk about this and, and swiftly condemn what happened today. Very much so. We got statements just right off the bat from there and people that we called 
all around today. I'm just happy that they were able to talk with me on camera today. All right. Thank you very much, Jose Alonso. Well,